All right, this is a real treat. If you're a movie fan now, and I think I can safely say, if you have ever seen any movie any time in your life, there's a fair chance you have seen this gifted actor's work. <coughs> Via the Notre Dame Day hotline is actor Richard Reilly, an alum from the class of 1970. His career spans uh, decades, his credits, including films like Glory, Fried Green Tomatoes, The Fugitive, Casino, of course, the cult classic Office Space. Uh, welcome to Notre Dame Day, Richard Reilly. Thank you for joining us, Richard. Well, thank you, Steve. This is a wonderful program. I've been watching it all, all afternoon. It's great. Well, we're so thrilled that you, that you would join us here. Tell me, back in, when you were here at Notre Dame in 1970, did you have a feeling then, or did you know that you wanted to pursue an acting career? No, not really. I, I Like uh, most students back in the 60s, I kind of sampled majors for three or four years. I came in as an engineering major, became a German major, so I could spend my sophomore year in Innsbruck, was a psych major, and finally ended up graduating in speech and drama. But it was a, it, it was a, a total surprise to me, I'm sure, as it was to my family. Really interesting. Do I understand correctly that at one time you had thought about becoming a priest? Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, I had an uh, extensive uh, Catholic education. I uh, uh, Eight years of St. Mary's uh, grade school, uh, four years at uh, Marquette University High School where I graduated, then three years in the seminary, and four years at Notre Dame. Uh, the last 11 years, of course, not only uh, Catholic education, but they were all male, so that may have been another reason why I got into the drama department. Wow, interesting. Uh, I looked up on IMDb because I wanted to be prepared for this interview, and I, <laughs> I stopped looking at movies at 150 because the list kept going. TV shows, like 200 or more. So I guess my question is, having done theater and hundreds of movies, hundreds of TV shows, does it surprise you that still the, the enduring cult classic of Office Space and, and you as the jump to conclusions guy? Uh, no, actually, it's... Uh that seems to be uh, the, the most obvious go-to thing, and it's because uh, people that are in the business now uh, quote it, and if, if somebody that's coming in new to the office doesn't get the quote, they immediately make them watch the film. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody should watch the film. It's part of our. It's part of Americana. It's part of who we are. I think it is. You know, everybody, of course, knows uh, Tom Cruise, Harrison Ford, Denzel. But I wonder sometimes, as a character actor, do you feel that you might get stronger roles, deeper roles, something more meaty than actually what the leading man might have? Yeah, actually, that's, some, that's sometimes true. The leading man has got to carry it, so they, they can't be too extreme in one way or another. They've got to carry the entire story all the way through. So as a character person, you can really take chances and, 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 uh, and do some more extreme things, especially now I've been doing a lot more independent films. And uh, I have gotten an opportunity to do uh, all, all sorts of things that I wouldn't have guessed would have been available to me. Yeah, well, and I know you would have been here with us uh, live and in person, except you are, of course, working. You're on a set. You're probably on 30 or 40 different sets. Uh, what, what projects do you have going right now? Well, I just got back from New Mexico where I was doing a Western called Hyde Park. And uh, I, I did uh, two uh, um, uh, films up in uh, Upper Peninsula, Michigan, uh, earlier this year. Uh, which both, for some reason, included a subplot of ice fishing. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then I've got a number of films that are making the festival circuit now. I was at a screening of one yesterday called The Admired, and there's uh, Medal of Victory and uh, um, oh, a couple, couple of others. It, it's very hard for independent films to find a distributor. Sure, absolutely. Well, I'm sure there are a few people watching this program that, that didn't know the name immediately, Richard Reilly, but they saw that picture go up of your face and said, oh, I know that guy. I know that guy. I've seen him in like every movie there ever was. Richard, thank you so much for joining us and thank you for thinking of Notre Dame on this Notre Dame Day. Well, thank you so much, Steve. All righty.